If you've experienced back pain, it's really likely that your breathing has been impacted. And the reason why is if we look kind of anatomically, you know, the diaphragm kind of crosses between the psoas, the big hip flexor and the QL, a big spinal stabilizer. And all those muscles have these areas that connect to the lumbar spine. When I injure a certain part of my body, the natural tendency is to protect. And how we typically do that is by reducing available movement. And so if I've had an injury or pain in my back, it's almost certain that there's been a restriction in the range of motion or even the activity of your diaphragm simply because of its anatomical attachments. If we layer on top of that, you know, if I take a deep breath, I change the amount of pressure around my spine and that can provoke pain. So again, there can be this learned, I start to breathe a little bit shallower to avoid pain. And that can go on for a really long time. So if you're someone that's experienced a back injury or you've experienced back pain, it's really worthwhile checking in with how you're breathing and looking if that needs some improvement.